Okay, good afternoon. Um, call the meeting uh, to order. It's a, it's a special council meeting. And uh, you all have an agenda. And I'm wondering if anybody has anything to add. I know I have a couple and it, 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 just a couple of letters, letters of support that I've had requests for that I just want to pass, pass by you for approval. It's usually not a problem, but it's better to come through council for sure. And that'll be for decision and it'll be the E and F number six. So with that, if someone wants to uh, move the approval of the agenda, moved by Guy, seconded by Ooh, almost lost everybody. By Councillor uh, Donaldson. All in favor, signify by raising your hand. Contrary minded, carried. Any conflict of interest uh, declaration? And if you don't do it now, when we come to uh, an item, it can be done at that time as well. There's no minutes that I see for approval. Business arising. These are a few letters that, that were approved to send out letters of, of concern or support. So the first one is a letter of uh, concern, MLA Colton LeBlanc regarding public hit parking lots. So there's an attachment and that letter has been, has been sent. If, and as we go, if there's any questions, letter of support for to Ren regarding the residential profit a retrofit funding application that was approved and sent. Letter to the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure Renewal, Nova Scotia Public Works regarding plowing of Schmand de Lace, and there's an attachment. And a thank you letter to Emily Colton LeBlanc regarding Wedgeford School and, and Property. And again, there's an attachment. For decision, temporary borrowing resolution. This is something that 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 was done before, and and I'll let Marsha take this. But but what from what I understand is because we're a little later getting it, we have to approve the, the, the basically the same thing that was approved before. Is that correct? Uh, Okay. Yes, so that is correct. So this is for the FCM loan that we we got approval for for the new building. And basically what it is, it's in back in August of 2020, you guys approved. It says here to approve the renewal. So you've already renewed it once. But I think if I remember, you guys changed the amount of the approval of the loan that you guys were asking for. So this one is not that this one's basically the temporary borrowing resolution was only good until October 13th of 2020. And I just got word of this last week. So basically it's just you guys coming here and reapproving for another year, the temporary borrowing resolution. And I've included it, attached it. And it's basically once you guys approve it, um, the municipal clerk can sign it and away it goes. And that'll mean we'll get the money it's there. It's just that they need this in order for us to, yeah. in order for them to release the money to our. Uh, they just, our, yeah, they just need an updated approval one. So, is there any discussion? Have you all had a chance to read it? It's basically the same as what we had before, and uh, we need, you know, we need we need this approved in order to get the money, and I think that's important. Uh, Councilor Sret. Moved. Oh, that's okay. Moved by Councillor Surrett, seconded by Councillor Bork. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor signify by raising your hand. Contrary minded, carried. The next one, back to my agenda here. The next one, temporary borrowing resolution. Okay, that's what the uh, operating, oh, from the operating reserve. What's happening is, and again, Marsha will, will take that, but what's happening is uh, uh, while we're waiting for that money and the holiday is coming, we wanna make sure that if we write any checks or anything before that money comes in, 
we, we want to make sure that there's money in the account. And it's a way, I guess, to get some money out of the uh, uh, um, operating reserves, borrowing money from the operating reserves and put it in there until we get the money from FCM. So go ahead, Demarsha. I think I, maybe there's more to it than what I just said there. No, you basically got it covered. It was just um, back in January, you guys approved that we transfer 800,000 from the operating reserve to the capital reserve until we receive this money from the FCM loan. Uh, we were supposed to be getting it November 15th. There was a delay on every side of the government. Um, so that won't come into effect. It's supposed to be January 5th now of 2022. So keep in mind, all the expenses for the new building have been paid through our capital reserve. So it's just me being precautionary that you never know there might be another delay or something. And with the Christmas break and stuff like that, I just don't want to, you know, leave the reserves empty until we get there. So that's why I'm just proposing another 500. Like I said, it's just me being over, overly cautious just in case. And once we get the money, we'll, we're, we're going to flip the whole thing back. back. And it is some, oops, sorry, no, it ahead. is something. Nope. It is something that is allowed through the MGA. Yes. Um, like Alain had said back in January, we had searched it up as long as there's like the, the interest and all that stuff. So it, it is allowed. We're allowed to do it through the, through the MGA. And again, it's just, it just to be, uh, to be uh, cautious in order, you know, in case something comes up because the capital reserves can go low and we you don't know what's going to come up. And this is just to make sure that the money's there and then it will go right back in. Any questions? Councillor Surratt. Uh, this question is for Marsha, just in case I forgot Marsha. Uh, so that's, did we already get 800,000 and we're putting another 500,000 now? Yes, yeah. Just to so be sure. in, in January, we transferred 800,000 from the operating reserve to the capital reserve but we haven't received our money from the FCM loans. All expenses have been paid. So I'm just asking for an, an additional 500 just as a precautionary. Perfect, merci. Okay, any others? So yeah. move. Okay, move. Uh, Councillor Donaldson, is that uh, a, a motion or a question? question? I was gonna move it, but I'll second it. Okay, so moved by Councillor Surratt, seconded by Councillor Donaldson. And if there's no other questions, I'll call for the question. All in favor, signify by raising your hand. Contrary minded, carried. The next one's a letter of support. And that was the request that I received. And what it is, is uh, Tuscot, Tuscot Sales, and I guess they're towing, they're towing uh, uh, a business. What, what they find is happening a lot is when, they, when, when the RCMP get to an accident, what they do is they call probably more their, com, the, their competitor and they feel that they're losing on some of the, uh, some of the, uh, uh, the business that they could be getting. And, and, and what, what they have done, and I say they, is uh, Tusket Sales is sending a letter to the RCMP to see if there's any way that if the, in order to, to equalize everybody and get, everybody can get their share of the, uh, of, of, of the towing, that if an accident happens in the municipality of Argyle and the, if, if the, the uh, uh, person involved in the accident doesn't, doesn't uh, uh, specify who he wants, that if it happens in Argyle, that, that uh, the RCMP would call Tusket Sales, and if it happens outside, they could call they could call their competitor. So they would like a letter of support from us, indicating that we we support their request, that we think it's a good idea to have that. And I said I would have to definitely have to bring this to council. So, Councillor Donaldson. Yeah, I feel it's, this is none of our business. That's my opinion. And and this is what I said to this is what I said to uh, uh, to Marcel that because it's it's a it's a private it's a private business, and I'm not sure that that we can 
be be supporting or, or endorsing someone. So I don't know. And that's why I said I would bring it here. Any other comments? Councillor Boudreau. Just wondering why are they always calling the uh, competitor? Like, why aren't they calling Tuskegee? Especially in in this in uh, in our municipality, I think he's right. That's well, that's my point of view. Well, per perhaps, and I'm not saying they don't call him all the time, but they're finding that that the uh, com competition is getting more calls, and and they were just wondering if if that was something, but. Uh, I guess I guess what we have to do is to make sure that we that we're allowed to send a letter like that for sure because it's a private business. Go ahead, Councillor uh, Donaldson. I'd just like to bring this point up also. What if municipality of Argyle had five towing services? Like what five what? We had, if we had five businesses. Oh, I see. or an, another municipality had more than one business, like. Would we even be talking this? I mean, yeah, yeah I, guess, I don't know. I, I just don't think it's right. Okay. Councillor Digden. Thank you. I know from, uh, from years ago, I don't know how they work it now. Some of these towing companies used to be a month on at a time or a couple of weeks on at a time. And they would rotate through their, their, mm -hmm. um, Tow, tow services, tow truck services, and it would work like that. Now, uh, again, I'd like to find out why why they're not being given the the chance to get on the list. But at the same time, I feel as though I don't know that something we as a council should be getting into. I could understand if it was our vehicles, the municipality vehicles, by all means, you want them towed by by services in in the municipality if they're available and that and I'm a strong supporter of supporting local but I just don't know if we we want to get into this one or not myself okay councillor threat just like to declare that I'm in a conflict so I'll You're have no comments okay anybody else have any any comments on that Councillor Boudreau again. Well, I'm like Glenn. I mean, we should look into it for sure because uh, try to help our, uh, you know, local businesses anyways, uh, the, the businesses that are in our municipality, at least take a look at it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going by the conversation I had with the owners of, of uh, the towing in Tuskegee. That's, you mm -hmm. know, that's what yeah. I'm going yeah. by, so. Yeah. <laughs> Councillor Dickton, did you have a hand up again? Yeah, the only thing I was going to say, I, I'm not saying we should look into it as no. a municipality. I'm saying maybe the company itself should question it more as to why they're not getting their fair chance and, 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 and yeah. go from there. And I think the letter that's being sent to the RCMP in regards to that is exactly what that is doing, right? They're asking them to do something. My question is, do we, can we, because the letter is going out, that, that, that's not our letter. The letter to the RCMP from them is going out and it may even have gone out. I'm not sure if it already has. My question is, we as a municipality, do we get involved? And I guess that's what I wanted to, that's what I wanted to bring here before a letter was written for sure. And if we feel that maybe it's not our place to do that, then by all means, we won't, you know. And again, I question the, the, the MGA and, the, and, and, and the, 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 uh, the regulations or rules for the municipality to do that for a private business. Are we endorsing somebody? You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't think that we should myself. Like it's something that, that uh, I think we have to be very, very careful. Any more comments? Go ahead, uh, uh, Deputy Warden. Thank you. I just think um, if we had one company in the municipality of Tuscan that was doing towing, then I could see the validity in this because, you know, as, as other councillors have said, we do want to support local. I don't know that there's only one. I'm really, I'm not, I mean, it's no. the one I call because it's the one I know. 
but having had conversations with a staff member there, uh, from what I understand, unless you request Tuscat Ford, they will automatically call the other company. So that's, I think that's where it's coming from is that, as you said, it, they feel like they're not getting um, their fair business. And I know when my son put his car in the ditch, <laughs> we had to request that it was Tusket Ford in order to get them to come. Otherwise it would have been the competitors. So I don't know if there are other companies in our municipality or not. I have no idea. I don't believe there's any other company that 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 has the uh, uh, the ability or the truck, the size and whatever of For what uh, uh, they, uh, what Tusky Sales has. Right. There might be some some smaller you know uh, uh, companies that do that. I don't know for sure either, but I, I don't believe anybody's equipped to to handle what they can handle. Mm -hmm. and, and it would be uh, actually they have they they have two competitors, but. The other competitor is is uh, deals more with with like like the bigger trucks, the transports, and whatever. And I know there's somebody up in, I don't know if it's Lake George or up that way somewhere. So, yeah. Go ahead, Councillor Red. I believe I can say this, and although I I, I won't vote, I'll just because I know a lot of the story, but I'll just say this. About uh, six months ago, there was an accident just below exit 33. And Tuskit Ford went right there. There were, well, I mean, everybody, there was guys on test drive. They saw the accident. The tow truck was there. The RCMP were there. And they called the competition to come in. And that was just below exit 33. I passed by there looking. And couldn't believe it. But it, their truck was there waiting. Finally, they had to wait half an hour for the competition to come in. And they tore it out. So I, I think this is a this is an issue between them and the RCMP, and not us, right? It, it's it's difficult for us to do that. I think, and I think Richard, you're right. If there was two or three, what do you do? You know, if there were more. So if that's from from what I seem to be hearing is that we kind of stay away from that. Is that what I'm hearing? At this point, especially. So, I'm wondering if we should have a motion on that. At least it's not just my word saying, you know, we we we're not going to do it. Just the motion that says that that no, we don't feel that that we can that we can uh, uh, send a letter because we feel that it's uh, uh, an issue between between the company and. And the RCMP. Go ahead, uh, Councillor Donaldson. Did you get a Did you get a written request or just verbal? It was verbal, but I got a letter. Let me see here if I can find it. But but it didn't really ask for the support in letter. It it he he sent me a he sent me a copy of the letter that he sent and a, and a personal letter to me just saying, oh maybe that wasn't I think. Ailey, that came to my office. I think that's what I had given you, Ailey. Is that correct? It is. Yeah, I actually have it here beside my desk. I didn't attach it to the agenda due to confidentiality no. concerns. So that's why I, I just kept the copy. Right. And, and, and I think that's, that's, that's good that you did that. But, but the letter is not an actual request. The request was, the request was verbal, definitely, which, which it came to me. It, he came to me uh, a week or so ago that he was going to be doing that. And he asked me uh, verbally if we would be willing to, to send a letter of support. And, and the answer I gave him at that point was that I would have to bring it here and that I wasn't 100% sure that we could do it because their business is a private business. And that, that was my answer to him. So maybe we don't need, I, I can explain to him, we, we may not need a, a motion. I can explain to him exactly the, the, what, what council has, has discussed, if that's okay with uh, the council. Uh, Councillor Sonia. Uh, I've been listening to the arguments and they're strong and good. However, are the RCMP an employee of Argyle? 
Are they a bully of Argyle? An employee of Argyle. In other words, do the taxpayers pay for the RCMP in our district here? Yes, we do. So uh, are we responsible to our taxpayers? In that, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to say that if we, if we in Argyle pay the RCMP in, in, in our district and they give business outside of our district, uh, that's an argument all by itself. You follow me? In, in a way, but I don't know that, that we have the right to tell the RCMP what they do. I, I'm not sure. I, I would say we don't, but, you know, I mean, why they're doing that is beyond me. I don't know why they would do that. Have they had a problem with, with that business? I don't know. I really, really don't know. <clears throat> I, I just wanted to throw that out there, that that does make any 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 preference that's all the the okay. if i may yeah okay they're paid they're they're uh, paid by both municipalities it's a joint service between the exactly. district of yarmouth and argyle exactly it's not just argyle they do the they do the i don't think we pay for everything we pay a portion, portion. i mean there's a lot that the rcmp do that Argyle doesn't cover, or the, ta or the municipality of Yarmouth doesn't cover. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I don't, it's, it's an argument. Okay, go ahead, Councilor Digbin. Uh, thank you, I was just wanting to let you know that Kathy's been trying to get in a couple of times. Ah, uh, sorry, didn't see. She's so far away there, I couldn't oh. see her. Go ahead. I was just, I was, thank you. I was just, you answered the question already. So um, I was just, just let them, uh, Tusket, find out why the RCMP are calling the uh, competitors and go from there. So there must be a reason why they're calling the, other, the competitor. Yes, yes. Or and maybe let, they have a contract. Let them do that, them. not us. Let them do that's that. for them to find out why. Yeah. That's, their, that's, their, that's their business, so. Okay. Well, I think I've got basically the, what everybody here feels anyway, or most everybody feels. So I think we can go with that and, and let them deal with the, with the problem themselves. Okay. So are we good with that? Good. The next one is second reading. Bylaw, the, the maintenance and improvement of private roads and the bylaws attached. And this is a second reading. So I guess if it's, yeah, if it's second reading though, we can't, we can't pass it, right? Or can, no, it's after the second. So Ailey, can you take that please? Yep, so you guys have already passed first reading at our um, initial November meeting, November 9th, yes. I believe it was. So we've advertised as per the MGA. So now you're actually, by approving the second reading, you're approving the bylaw. Okay. And my next step will be to advertise again and then send to the province. Okay. Anybody have any questions or comments on this? If there isn't any, then what we can do is uh, someone wants to move the approval of this. For second reading, and that's uh, Councillor Digden, or is that a question? No. Okay. Moved by Councillor Digden, seconded by Counts, uh, Deputy Warden Albright. And if there was no questions, unless there's questions now, I will call for the question. All in favor, signify by raising your hand. Voluntary minded, carried. Uh, I've added a couple, and uh, there are two organizations in this uh, in, in in the area. One in my district, one in Pubnico, and they're applying for the uh, New Horizon uh, um, for Seniors program. And we've uh, Pubnico is the musée, and we've we've had they they had they had applied last year, and we we gave them a letter of support. And they're asking for one again. And I guess what I'm asking is uh, the okay by from council 
that we can uh, that we do send a letter of support so that they it helps it always helps these organizations to get to get the uh, grants if the, the more support they can get the better it is for them and i i would say that we should probably do that so i can do it in two in in two i have two or we can do one at one one by itself and then do the other one so if you want to do the one for uh, um, the musée, we can we can ask for uh, a motion to approve that that letter. Moved by Councillor Digden, seconded by Councillor Sonia. All in favor, signify by raising your hand. Or do you have a question, uh, Councillor Digden? Uh, yes, I do. I was just wondering if, if you get re uh, requests like that, and they are in um, well, I guess for this case, my area. I wonder if I could get CC'd or a copy of those letters, um, just being as though it's in my area. So yeah. I, I don't know how the other counselors feel about that, but it's uh, yeah, we can we can certainly CC you on that if you want. Yeah. Yeah. If you please, if, if you get if, anything what like do, that. What, what we do is we send the letter to Bernice herself, right? And then she attaches it to we we just we just we just write a letter saying to yep. her that we support her project. And then yeah. she she puts it in. So yes, definitely we can CC you on that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, Amy. I just want to. We're having a little bit of technical difficulty, so we're on a timer right now. But if we get disconnected, um, we'll send the link out for you guys to reconnect. So I just wanted to let you know if we if we drop, okay. we're going to come back on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're 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 okay. So that was moved and seconded. All in favor, signify by raising your hand. Contrary minded, carried. The next one is from the uh, Abrams River uh, Schoolhouse Society. They're doing the exact same thing. They're, they're, they're applying for a grant and they've asked me to see if we could send a letter. So it's the same, basically the same as what we just went through except different uh, organizations. Councillor Threat moved, seconded by, uh, okay, Nicole, uh, Deputy Warden Albright. All in favor signify by raising your hand. Contrary minded, carried. Okay, the next one, the, the other thing is correspondence work commencing on municipality on the municipal and village code of conduct regulations. All right, that's right, we got that letter. And that's just something that's been going on for a while now. And finally, they're, they're, the government is, is uh, is finally acting on that. So it's something that's been in the works now and, and every time through Eps, through NSFM and whatever. So there's a lot of municipalities I know at meetings that we've had, that was always a topic that would come up. And, and through COVID, we had a lot of meetings with, with municipalities across the province, with the wardens and, and mayors and the CAOs. And, and that always came up. In, in a lot of the municipalities for sure. So that's basically for your information there. And financial requests, we have none. Anybody have any agenda topics for next meeting? And again, we don't have a scheduled uh, meeting uh, a time. As you, as you all know, we've been, uh, we've kind of suspended the meetings for December unless something comes up like this, so. So if nobody has anything like that, I don't know if there was any question period, any question. I see some something in the chat here. I'm not sure. There was, there was no questions. No. Okay. No. Oh, just tell me that's what you told us. <laughs> it might disconnect in a few minutes. So there's no in camera. And I guess we need a motion to adjourn. And okay. Uh, <laughs> move move by uh Councillor Boudreaux seconded by, by Deputy Warden. So all in favor, raise your hand. Okay, thank you.